and welcome to the Michigan State University College of Nursing. I'm Dr. Terry Wehrwein, currently Special Assistant to the Dean and formerly the Academic Associate Dean. I'm pleased to take you on a tour of our wonderful facilities here at the College of Nursing. Right now we're standing in the BOT building, which is Life Sciences C. This is the newest part of our facilities. On the first floor of this building, we have classroom space, advising offices, and rooms for the students to have for out areas for eating and lounging. The development office is also located on this floor. The second and third floors of this building are dedicated to research. The Center for Scholarship, Innovation, and Research is located there with classrooms, teaching space for students for research, faculty offices, and space for research teams to work. The middle wing, Life Sciences A, is the home of the Dean's Office, houses many faculty offices, and also has additional teaching space. We share Life Sciences B with the College of Human Medicine, and in that area we have our Granger Skills and Simulation Lab. This is a typical faculty office for the full-time faculty. In it you will see we have storage, space for meeting with students, and a computer set up for each faculty member. Okay, this area is the faculty and staff work area and lounge. Uh, we have coffee machines, storage equipment, and uh, space for the faculty to have lunch as well as the mailboxes. This is a small classroom currently configured to provide social distancing for uh, COVID-19, but normally is able to house about 30 students and has complete telephonic com communication. This is touchdown space for part-time faculty. They have uh, private areas where they can meet with students and use their computer when they're on campus. This is an example of the conference room space we have available for small group meetings, clinical conferences, and faculty meetings for uh, their committees as well. Okay, the next room you're going to see is the teaching collaboratory. Usually the purpose of this room is for groups of faculty to get together to work on projects such as developing new curriculum for courses or working on things like the CCNE report. Right now it's being repurposed for additional simulation space and the materials you see in there are set up for our simulation students. The Shirley and John Weiss Student Media Center is usually used for students when they're coming in to do projects or take tests out of sequence. Uh, there it can be monitored in this area. In the back of this area, there's a small room for privacy for students who need extra quiet and extra time for testing according to their ADA requirements. This is the office space that our technology and media support individuals use to set up for uh, supporting covering classes, particularly right now with our D2L classes, and working with any student issues that we may have as we get things ready for them. This is the 160-170 classroom area, divided by a, a door in the middle. Under normal circumstances, the rooms together can hold 128 students. Right now, you see it divided in half and set up for COVID spacing. This is classroom C125, or BOT building 125, that is used for small classes. It is now set up again to be COVID compliant for space. We're entering the building through Life Sciences C, or the BOT wing, the newest part of the College of Nursing Properties. We have attached here Life Sciences C, Life Sciences A, both of which are completely for the College of Nursing. And we also have our Granger Lab in Life Sciences B, first floor. This is area is a student lounge. It has facilities for students to leave the, uh, lunches in the refrigerator, to microwave the lunches, and also have copy machines available uh, to work together while they're here. This is the reception area for academic counseling. Students come in here when they're meeting with their academic advisors during program planning or during the admission process. Currently, with COVID, our, all of our advisor visits are online. Each of the academic advisors has a private office for confidential meetings with their students. This space is the Nursing Research Scholarship and Innovation Center. In addition to faculty offices, there are workspaces for the faculty's research teams and areas to collaborate on their research projects. This is a research collaboratory where research teams can get together and meet virtually and in person, sharing their data by plugging each of their machines into the technology provided. The next room is one of the conference rooms in the Research Center. Mm -hmm. 
Room 131 is a classroom for the College of Nursing designated as a real classroom, which are the highest technology classrooms available on the college campus. Normally it's situated for 82 students working in pods so that they can do small group activities as well as come together to work with a faculty member on larger group activities. Currently it's being used for simulation and subdivided in that manner. This is classroom A107, usually assigned to the nurse anesthesia didactic classes, but has also, for COVID, been repurposed to use for additional simulation space. This area is part of the Granger Simulation Center. The first room is one of our simulation rooms. Then we'll walk through the control room for our high fidelity simulation and take a look at the high fidelity simulation room. Following, there'll be another one of our rooms that the students use with their faculty to complete their simulation activities. This is the LAC, the Learning and Assessment Center. This is a high fidelity simulation center shared by four colleges at Michigan State University. The College of Nursing, the College of Human Medicine, Allopathic Medicine, the College of Osteopathic Medicine, and the College of Veterinary Medicine. Our students come here for high stakes testing kinds of simulation experiences. It's used by students in both the baccalaureate program and the advanced practice programs. We will see rooms that are used for partial trainers, rooms that are used for simulation, the LAC is where we have our standardized patient program, so the students have the access to standardized patients for many of their high stakes examinations. The LAC has 14 rooms set up as clinical spaces in an ambulatory setting, four rooms set up as hospital rooms, and two rooms set up for trauma and high intensity experiences. We'll show you some of each. This area is the technical center for the Learning and Assessment Center. All of the rooms are set up with video and audio camera so that the faculty can tape the events and then review them with the students and grade them at a later date. The materials are also available for research use. Thank you for joining us on the virtual tour of Michigan State University College of Nursing and the Learning Assessment Center from Michigan State University. We're really sorry that you weren't able to see our facilities in person. We're very proud of what we have for our students and look forward to discussing them with you after you've seen the tape.